Hello, my name is Michael McCurry, and I'm just going to be talking about a few different things that we learned this week. And, yeah. So, what did we learn this week? We learned a bunch of different topics. Um, first, we started with installing a JDK and installing Eclipse, which is going to be what we're going to mostly use to practice our coding. Um, yeah, those are two really big things. We also kind of talked about more how, how the class is going to be and so on. Those are just minor things. Um, some, we learned this, some stuff we learned in this chapter is going to be what is a computer, uh, central processing unit, bits and bytes, um, memory, storage devices, input, output, communication devices. Um, I thought those were really interesting because I was talking about the, the history of, you know, just computers, coding, and how it all functions, how it all works, how, you know, basically society kind of just runs. Uh, I found that really interesting. I really didn't know, you know, I thought I knew a lot about computers and stuff, but I guess I just really didn't. I really enjoyed how the chapter went over and went in depth into those certain topics, um, especially with bits and bytes. I really didn't, I kind of knew what they were, but I didn't really understand how it all kind of functioned before. So I found that really interesting. I really enjoyed learning about that. Um, uh, another thing we learned about is programming languages. We learned about different, a bunch of different program, programming languages. Um, you know, I've learned about several before. I've done some before. I took Python last quarter, and this quarter I'm taking Java. So this chapter is obviously going to be about Java and things like that nature and just object-oriented programming languages. Um, you also learn about operating systems. I thought operating systems was another interesting topic because, you know, I knew what an OS was, but I didn't really know how, how OS has functioned and kind of just how they made things work. So I found that to be pretty, pretty good. Um... So I also learned how important Java is in terms of like, you know, programming applications and, you know, things of that nature. Uh, because I really didn't know too much about Java. I knew JavaScript and, um, you know, I knew about Python. I did a lot of research about Python because I took that class a couple times already. So I found it really interesting to learn about a different language because I always enjoy learning new things and figuring out new stuff. Um, you also learned, I'd say in this chapter, another really good thing I learned was how to make Eclipse work because I was really confused at first about how to make my programs work through Eclipse. Um, the part that kind of stumped me was the uh, the creating class part. Uh, we don't have cl classes in Python, but it was right there at the end and it was pretty confusing and we didn't really go over a lot of it. So I'm you know still learning what classes are. I'm still trying to advance in terms of classes and things like that. Um, yeah, so something I found, I found difficult, which is, again, learning how to make Eclipse work. Uh, I'm always kind of, I'm pretty terrible at making IDEs work and just kind of figure out how IDEs do work. Um, and so I took Python once before and I took Python and the, the main thing was I did not know how to make that IDE run or just work and I was just really bad at it. I took it again and I understood it and so I'm... I'm really glad that this chapter went over how to make Eclipse run. Um, I was I also thought that the posted materials were were pretty interesting. Um, I really liked the videos going over you know Java how to install and how to make things work because again I just it was really Python was really challenging for me when it came to because I didn't know how to make my IDE run. I didn't know how to make it work. I didn't know anything about it pretty much even though I was like halfway through the quarter, and so I had to drop it. So I'm really glad that we went over a lot about how Eclipse runs, how to install Eclipse, um, and things of that nature. I just, and um, you know, another thing I forgot is something that I really like is um, how our textbook is kind of set up and how, you know, it's it's mostly reading, but like, you know, the, the challenges and things like that are really interesting. I really like the things at the end of the chapter to help refresh kind of what we learned, and I think that's really helpful. So, yeah.